Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel today. We are going to be racing Nemo later on today, going up to an eighth mile track up north. It's called US 36 Raceway. It's about an hour, hour and a half north of Kansas City. Eighth mile is the only track basically we have around here to go test this car. We've kind of left Nemo kind of in limbo mode for the last few months, but we're going to try to get him back in action and out racing this year. And uh, tonight's the first step. Uh, Just Tune is our tuner, and he's actually going to be coming with us tonight to uh, help us get Nemo lined out from start to finish. So looking forward to it. Just kind of going to give you a rundown on Nemo real quick in case you're not familiar with the car. Okay, right here is Nemo. It's a 2019 Camaro ZL1, which previously held the world's record for the fastest stock blower uh, ZL1 Camaro. So he has done some things in his past, but uh, now it's got twin turbos, turbo 400 transmissions, got an LME sleeve 390 cubic inch LT motor with ported CID heads, Frankenstein build intake, but it does still have a stock rear diff in it, which is a 285 gear, which honestly this car will go over 200 mile an hour with the turbo 400 pretty easily. But uh, took Nemo to the car wash while ago, got him all cleaned up. Here's a look underneath the hood. Got a real nice looking hidden uh, twin 6871 comp turbos down below. And uh, they have coolant running through them for the, for, to keep them cooled down. Uh, we got a big air to air intercooler in the front. And it's, it's basically a bolt on kit. We did change some of the charge piping on it. Uh, but other than that, it's basically an off the shelf kit you can buy from Huron Speed. Then we got the port injection that is ran by a Holly Dominator with a Crawford Racing harness. So it does have port and DI injection and it is running on Ignite E90 fuel. Basically the goal tonight is to get the car running well, 60 foot, probably 60, really the eighth mile. If we can get the car running good in the eighth mile, we know it'll run good in the quarter mile. So that's gonna be our main goal tonight is to get the car to leave really good and give us a good baseline for when we go out of town to streetcar takeovers because our tuner will not be at those, but he will be with us tonight. So, you know, we should be able to get this car pretty much lined out and uh, ready for racing for this year, 2021. We just got to US 36 Raceway. We got Nemo unloaded off the trailer and we got teched in, everything ready to go. Justin's just looking at the car right now, getting the tune all lined out. Basically, it was, it was doing some weird throttle things. Once you go on the trans brake, we think we got that all fixed up. That was one of the reasons why I've just kind of, eh, we'll just put it in the back corner of the shop and get to it when we get there. But he, we finally got that figured out, and I think we're going to make a good pass here. So we're just going to make the first pass on really low boost just to get the feel for it. It's a pretty short track, short shutdown. So I don't want to get myself in, in a bad situation. I've only raced this track maybe once in my life. So, uh, yeah, getting ready to make the first pass in Nemo right now. First pass did exactly what I thought I was gonna do and spun. This is uh, basically like a no prep out here right now. A bunch of big tire bracket cars is out here testing me. We're out in the middle of country Missouri right now. So um, we're gonna tweak some of the tune a little bit with the holly, some of the boost, and uh, go out and make another lick, see what it does. But the good news is it's getting on the trans brake good and it's not doing a pause right off the hit like it was back in Bradenton in February. So I think we got that part figured out. So that's good news, people, or really good news.
Justin, what was that pass boost wise? What did you have on that pass? Like 20. 20 pounds and then ramped in pretty slow or? Like three seconds. Okay, yeah, so. Okay, so just got back from making that pass and uh, didn't have a very good 60 foot that time. And it only went 640 at 121 to eight. A lot left in this car. It's not even ramping to a full 20 pounds of boost until three seconds into the run. So we're on the right track. I mean, it, uh, once we get this car to leave good, that 121 mile an hour would be like a 590 in the eighth. Uh, I'd like to be around 130, 135 in the eighth is kind of where I'd like to be with this car in goal. Uh, and then obviously run like a mid to low eight second quarter mile time at probably 170 ish. Uh, it's kind of where I think this car is going to be at with the turbo kit and stuff that's on there right now. But uh, yeah, making strides, making uh, good progress here. That was the second pass. We're going to go out for a third once it uh, cools down. I eat a couple hot dogs. As you can see, our uh, pits are not uh, <laughs> super clean. We can't even test the trans brake over here because the turbos are so low. I'm afraid it's going to suck some pebbles up in them. Oh, did it? <laughs> oh, at the starting line? No, like about 200, 150 Oh, down. geez. Like, was that after me? It was right next to you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's probably why I passed it so fast. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you change that time on the tune? Uh, just more, uh, more RPM on the two-step and faster ramp time. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I think it, once it gets out, it, it, it grabs, and it'll take whatever you want to give it. Got the fan going, getting some air on there. Uh, the fastest eighth mile was 6.0 at 119. So we just ran its best mile an hour eighth mile that it's ever had at this shitty track. So <laughs> we're making progress. Of course it should, it makes like 500 more horses a tire now. <laughs> didn't get a mile an hour or 60 foot still only went 633 but we're still like leaving on hardly any boost just kind of going through the track now we're running to the now we're running to an issue where the throttle as soon as you left the trans brake it's just not fully engaging it was okay the first pass but uh these last two passes it has not liked it so we're trying to figure that out
that pass did a lot of the same things. Um, it just kind of, the throttles wanted to shut as soon as we let off the brake to go, and then it just opens up and goes. So uh, I'm waiting on a call back from a guy that's actually done one of these swaps before, and uh, he thinks he has the fix for us in the tune. So wait for him to call back, and we can uh, go make another pass. Once we get that figured out, I think we're on the right track. And also my IATs are getting super hot. It makes no sense. It's got a big intercooler, it's got meth. So that's another thing we need to figure out what's going on there. Okay, so update, um, we could not, uh, basically the guy that was gonna help us needed his laptop with him and he was out eating dinner and said it was gonna be probably another hour and a half before he could look at the tune and see what he needed to do and send it back. And uh, the track here closes in about 30 minutes. So we went ahead, loaded up Nemo, but we are on the right track. I just made this video to show you all, we, we have not given up on Nemo. We put him on the back burner, but we're gonna start bringing Nemo out, start racing Nemo. Nemo's got a record to break, and that's the fastest six gen record. We're on the right track. Our best mile an hour was 130 in the eighth tonight, so it's a really good mile an hour for 22 pounds of boost is what Justin said the max boost was on that run. This motor should be able to take, you know, close to 30 or more, depending on basically what this turbo kit will make and the motor will take it. So we're on the right track. Best pass is a low six at 130. That hesitation off the line eats up a lot of clock once it gets rolling so i think we got ourselves a good running car once we get that throttle issue fixed we'll go back out again here in the next uh, probably couple weeks and see what nemo can do turned up on a good track all right we got the car back unloaded and justin's been messing with this thing all day trying to get the throttle fixed and happy to report we did fix the problems that we were having last night at the track so check this out it it works so much better now So got that fixed. Another problem we ran into after the track was these lines right here. We're going to, have to put clamps. Those are the coolant lines coming from the turbos. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then we're actually going to wrap all the cold side piping from behind the engine, uh, all the stuff that's aluminum in a uh, heat wrap. So that way it keeps the heat out of the cold side pipes. Uh, we did get the meth back working. Not sure what was going on there, but uh, we did get it back working. So it does have meth again. So hopefully that helps out with our IAT problems and we're ready to go back to the track once we get those couple little things finished, but happy to report we did figure out the throttle issue that we've been dealing with for a long time. And I think Nemo is ready to rip and make some really good passes. We got the, the launch pad out here. <laughs> this is from where we were testing it a little bit ago. So it is working, no more boot scoot and boogie now. <laughs> 